Well, last week, millions of people observed World Autism Awareness Day, April 2nd each year, a chance to spotlight people on the spectrum and promote inclusion and anti-bullying efforts. Autism Speaks has observed the day with a lighted up blue campaign, and this year they're spreading the message of kindness, creating a pathway to diversity and inclusion. If you have concerns about autism, you can visit AutismSpeaks.org. The 15th anniversary Autism Speaks Walk in Columbus, set for October 9th at Columbus Commons. It is among the longest running autism support events in the nation, and it has raised millions of dollars for autism research, program development, and educational support. To sign up for this year's walk and to start your own team, visit AutismSpeaksWalk.org and search for the Columbus Walk. Over the past two years, we have all learned the basics of virtual meetings. It became a necessity during the pandemic, but it also revealed a new path forward in terms of sharing information instantly. And in autism, those virtual learning opportunities can lead to real life breakthroughs. Nationwide Children's Hospital has partnered with Autism Speaks and the Autism Treatment Network to create what it calls the Family Echo Series. It's a lecture series on all stages of autism, from diagnosis to long-term care and support. It's targeted for parents and caregivers, and the series provides a forum for an immediate question and answer session using the chat function in Zoom. It really was born out of the fact that families needed information and I know that I needed it myself as a parent with a child with autism so um, it was it, it really was ignited by the need for information that was coming in and I was hearing it from our own clinicians that were asking questions like I'm you know I've got all these families calling what can we do to help and we can do that in real time when their curiosity is piqued by something I say as a speaker and I have all these other colleagues who are right available in the chat to answer them immediately. So it, it's a wonderful invention. We'll never go back to doing it the old way. More than 5,000 people have registered for the series, including participants from all 50 states and nearly 40 countries. To learn more about the Echo series, visit nationwidechildrens.org and search Family Echo. Bright colors, loud sounds. The joy of Major League Soccer. That's a game at the crew's new home stadium, Lower.com Field. But stimulating those senses can be a struggle for some people on the autism spectrum. One of the goals uh, that uh, when we were designing and building the stadium was to provide a uh, place where there's acceptance and inclusion for all patrons coming to the building. And this is that place, a sensory room created in part by an organization called Culture City, an industry leader in sensory room design, complete with calming colors, soothing sounds, a place for wellness. We pick out all the elements, we ship everything, so everything is thought out by autistic individuals, individuals of various sensory needs, as well as um, trained medical professionals. Culture City also created sensory bags, which fans can borrow during games. And if you're planning a visit this season, the sensory rooms located on the west side of Lower.com Field. Coming up on the autism puzzle. We have all greens? Yes, I got all greens. A local organization aiming to connect newly diagnosed kids with proven interventions and finding significant results. Plus, art as an entry to the soul. How this young woman shares her autism journey with the world. And from diagnosis to resources, our phone bank is open and staffed with volunteers from Autism Speaks, Ocali Autism Society of Central Ohio. If you have a question, give them a call, 844-442-2554. We'll be right back.